today's a different kind of review. I'm going to be actually um, making a review on the battery pack for this car. Um, if you watch one of my previous videos, the car is actually from 1995, and the um, I actually dropped the pack. Um, the car came with this battery. And so that's 25 years, uh, 26 if you count that new year. But um, we've got this battery pack, again, six volt. I had no expectations as uh, whether or not it would work. In fact, I saw a corroded battery in, in the uh, packaging. The packaging had never been opened before. And so I did not have any expectation for this. Surprisingly enough, though, this, you know, I put it on charge for about five minutes and then I popped it back in the car just to test and it got the car moving. So what we're doing today is I've charged this battery up for about four hours now. It's been on charge. Back then, there's no indicator light. There's not on the pack, not on the charger. It's just charge it for four hours. Okay, so put it in for four hours today and now we're about to uh, give it a test. I wanna see how long this battery pack, 25 years old from New Bright, will last on a simple stroll, just taking the car for a stroll and walking along with it. All right, I'm going to uh, be switching the car on at 3.47 p.m. and we're gonna get this thing on the road. So you see me jerking to the right a lot, and that's because of the, the trim settings for the, uh, the old cheap dial and underneath the wheels. And unfortunately, I can never get this thing centered up. This thing is showing, proving to have halfway decent range. So already, we are, um, it's 3.55, so already several minutes into the battery pack. It's doing pretty well. I can remember taking this car, although it was a blue one, uh, taking this same type of car around uh, my university um, years ago, back in, 1998 and this battery pack would uh, last an hour and a half two hours as I would walk completely around the campus uh, did it was a phenomenal battery pack because all I would do is kind of what I'm doing right now just a light little stroll so it's nice to see this battery pack actually have some juice to be able to allow me to do this. So this car can do a little bit of off-roading, just a little bit. You can see it's getting stuck a little bit, but basically has no shocks. If it hits a bump, if it hits a bump, it's done. It's just bouncing everywhere. But it's, it's pretty neat to be able to see it in action again from 1995, 25 years ago, guys. Pretty insane. <laughs> so it hits a bump and it's, it's going to bounce everywhere. Even the tiniest bump, it's bouncing. So we've hit the uh, halfway point of our walk it is um it is 44 degrees outside i think what time is it what time do you think it's about 4 15. what 
415. Even 415. Mm -hmm. We'll have to check that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so we've hit the halfway point. It's still holding, holding strong. And uh, it's a whole lot of fun to hit little little twigs and everything and see this. Oh, it's 404. My wife was wrong. First and time ever, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so at this point, we're about to hit an incline. Uh, on the way down here, this car was able to pretty much coast all the way down without even using the battery at all. But now it's an incline, a little tougher uh, on this battery pack. And in fact, the almost the entire journey back is a uh, small incline for the car climbing uphill. Doing great. It's doing wonderful. So the car made it up the first little hill and uh, we're about to come down into this brief little pocket of gravel so i'm going to run it through the gravel show you guys how i handle the gravel enough gravel for right now again we want to try to make this battery last on this roll back to the house 415 all right so it's 415 and uh we're going to film the rest of this journey kind of give you an idea of what it's like navigating this thing oh look there it made it Still doing really, really well. I see it rolling back a bit. Look how bouncy that is. Made it. All right, what's the final time? 419. This thing ran and obviously still had uh, quite a bit more power. For a pack that's 25 years old, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know how, how they did it. So we all know that New Bright is pretty much crap, but those battery packs are the bomb.